Peace to the collective. Peace to the tribe. It's the Hemistic represent and learn scenario.com, Hemistic.com, Colombian Exchange.com. Here I wear a lot of hats, but they fit me well, so I'm going to continue to do so um, until I run into this wonderful angel investor for which I can start paying people to do all of the things that I need them to do. Otherwise, I'm here today to share this message and um, hopefully provide some motivation for people who don't feel motivated today, might feel out of sorts, might feel exhausted, might feel drained. And, you know, what is that? What is the what is the reason for your particular feelings? Because at this point, I know you a solution based person. At this point, you tried everything. You've listened to everybody. You've done everything. You did cartwheels. You twerked on the pole. You you walked in the woods. You did psychedelics. You you ate dirt. You went to see a voodoo priestess. You got a reading. You got another reading. Got a reading after that. Then decided maybe it's the readers. Got to find the perfect reader that's going to speak exactly to your bullshit. Did that still haven't worked. And now you sitting in your room like Brandy. Jamming to a dope song nonetheless, but still confused. I'm here to tell y'all it's a, it's, it's a way for sovereignty. It's a way for inner peace. It's a way to know. Does this way get found out like this? I'm not sure about that. It could possibly for you based upon your natural gifts. But ultimately, you have to dissect yourself. You have to separate yourself. I'm going to give you three things, but you got to separate yourself in two ways. Before we get to those two ways, let's talk about the one thing that you are going to need unequivocally without a shadow of a doubt. So help you God, right hand on the Bible, left hand up. You understand what I'm saying? Listening to information by Beyonce, all of these things gonna have to happen for you to get to a point of in. In is the most important word in reference into conscious development. What is ubiquitous is out. You got all of these people, talking, 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 yet and still, the end part is the hard part. And let's just keep going. Intrinsic. Because extrinsic motivation is 98% of people. They are extrinsically motivated to the core. If it ain't nothing that's going to directly benefit a person, they won't get up and do it. However, intrinsic motivation puts you into the 2% of the population to work on your business as if a white man is telling you to work on your business. To be on your fitness just like a white man is telling you to be on your fitness. Because if nobody is telling you to work out, nobody is telling you to work on your business and it doesn't specifically motivate you at that very first time of oh, going to the library, starting the LLC. You want to start an LLC. You don't know how to start an LLC. Intrinsically, you have to go to the library when nobody is telling you to go to the library. Sit your ass down with a notebook. Pay your goddamn library card fees, first of all. The fuck you got library fees since you was in high school? You done had three kids, a, a boyfriend, a husband. How about you pay your library card fee and get intrinsically motivated? Because what tends to happen is that we wait for a guru. We wait for a leader. We wait for a teacher. And when you find them, you say, oh, he not talking that talk like I want him to talk it. He not walking the walk like I wanted to walk it. You know what? Fuck this spiritual shit because he fake. She fake. I need y'all to be intrinsically motivated to your spiritual life, even if all of these people is fake. A large percentage of spiritual people who start their YouTube channels and have a lot of views 
are a part of like they are employees of YouTube. Cause, cause you don't never know the people for which people are like you don't know these people. The internet is a bunch of smoke screens, numbers, and things like that, and you can't get caught up in that. It's not even the point of you getting numbers, but it's how you judge people based upon their numbers or lack thereof. And I say that all to say it's not about how many views a person's got. It's about what the fuck they're talking about. And we get so easily caught up on the messenger and completely forget the message. Spiritually, we're learning how to act intrinsically. Intrinsically is how you are motivated. You don't get any benefits. You don't get any rewards immediately when you're intrinsic. You just, it might be five years before you get your reward. Your reward might come indirectly. Like I'll give you an example. I talked to these this, this husband and wife yesterday for about an hour about some shit that I can't even talk to y'all about on Instagram. But it was one of the most fortunate conversations that I ever had. They didn't know me from a, a can of paint. You know what they told me, though? It's something about you. I can feel your energy. I was looking exactly. I'm going to keep it real. I was wearing the same thing I'm wearing today, yesterday. So I was looking kind of crazy. I say that to say. And it wasn't about how I was looking. I was, I was just disheveled with my kids and shit. I was looking crazy and they said, boy, I feel your energy. I feel like I feel like we just need to talk to you about some things. I feel like you can help us with some things. We be having some PTSD. We be having some stress. We've been working on this, but we feel like you can help me. And I looked at crazy and I'm just trying to figure out what did y'all see? They obviously seen the spirit. I said I was going to talk about three things. I'm going to add another thing. Let's talk about four things. You might have your family, friends, close social network. When you step out of that close social network, especially after doing spiritual work, you might bump into people. You might run into people. What you need to start realizing is that the people that you run into is the same spirits for which you tuned in and tapped into. You could be doing an Oshun ritual, Oshun work, and run into a lady with yellow. Don't confuse yourself and to be like, that's crazy, that lady with yellow, and just go on about your date. The reality is that that's the avatar of Oshun, and you might want to go speak to her or holler at her or talk to her about something. And I know that sounds crazy, but you're the one doing rituals, and you're the one that don't understand life. You, don't, you can't just automatically assume that this person got blood vessels and go to sleep and wake up just like you. You've seen that person once and you probably won't see that person ever again because that person is a spirit. Peace. I got my card. Give me a second. How much was this? 105. Did you have an online order? Yes, ma'am. Because the people that I was talking to yesterday, they were straight up spirits. Oh my God. And I was like, I understand this. So be intrinsically motivated. Do the things that your spirit tell you to do. The only reason that I met these two people, because my wife was intrinsically motivated to send them a, to follow up on the email. And so we have been contacting these people back and forth. Some happened. And then, you know, it's easy to just be like, all right, this person ain't fucking with me. So just go about my day. What's useful is them follow up emails, follow up text messages, follow up calls, because people be going through a lot of shit. And if you're not sure about what you are intrinsically motivated to do, then you might actually get dissuaded off your path and you really shouldn't have to so intrinsic motivation understanding the difference between a human being and a spirit and how spirits can easily 
as easy as you wake up and masturbate, possess a human being and talk to you. But correspondence is the law. What is correspondence? When you reach out to higher celestial consciousness, higher celestial consciousness is reaching out to you at that very same time. It's the mirror effect. But the disconnect is the iniquity and not knowing who you are at a spiritual level. Understanding that Venus really wants to work with you because Venus has a voice through you. Andromeda has a voice through you. Isis has a voice through you. Oshun has a voice through you. Lilith has a voice through you. If you tune into higher celestial energy for which your intrinsic motivated ass is tuned in and tapped into. Yemiya, Mami Waters, Pambajira. Whoever you vibrate to, those energies are vibrating towards you. Now, the key is to maintain energy. Like, it's like a sandcastle or it's like an energy ray. And it's like, it'll flash like a strobe, like, whoosh, and then it'll go away. And you'd be like, damn, was that Oshun? Damn, was that Lilith? Yes, but it's like, it needs to be intensified. And as you intensify these rays and intensify this correspondence, then you'll just start talking. You'll start acting. You'll start being. You got to trust the work that you've done. Now, if you have not done any work, no clearing work, no purification work, and you think that spirit is talking to you, you're probably crazy. Hey. Thank you. Um, I'm going to give you a tip, too. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. You, too. So, let's talk about what I really want to talk about. Because this is the most serious shit that's happening right now on Earth. Now, we all know that where we put attention to, it grows. But do you know the difference between attention and awareness? Can you differentiate your conscious mind from your subconscious mind? Can you differentiate your attention and your awareness? Because attention plus awareness equals consciousness. Your attention is the, the, the pyramid tip. Your awareness is the whole pyramid. You need attention. You need awareness to bring about consciousness. Now, let's retract. What you pay attention to being the tip of the pyramid, being the leader of the pyramid is disgracing the whole entire pyramid those who have eyes will see those who have ears will hear if you don't understand what i'm saying then obviously you're not in the advanced class i'll give you an example you paying attention to this spiritual teacher you paying attention to this girl you paying attention to this job but none of this shit is where your awareness lies more, more than not, you haven't been able to wrap your mind around your awareness because everything that exists within the pyramid is in that awareness. You can only pick and choose certain aspects from your awareness to bring it into your attention. Your attention is small because it's the tip of the pyramid. It can't fit the entire pyramid within it. However, it could pick and choose different aspects within a pyramid to raise up into its consciousness. Another simple way to understand this is when you take notes. If you've been taking notes for your whole adult life, you got notebooks on top of notebooks on top of notebooks. And the reason why is because you can't hold all of that information in your head. But if you organize your notes um, journal your notes effectively, then ultimately, if you needed to pull a specific recollection or realization, you would know, oh, that's in my blue journals. 
That would be something that I put in my orange journal. When you don't journal, you arrogant as a fuck to say, I can remember everything that my awareness presents in front of me. I can remember everything for which I think about. If you get an idea and you don't want to remember and you don't want to forget it, rather, you need to write it down. Because awareness brings about attention. Where we fuck up is that we try to bring our attention into our awareness, but our awareness has all of our components within it. Let's talk about sadness, depression, anxiety, fear, grief, negative energies. Where do they come from? When your awareness and your attention are misaligned. See, if your attention thinks that it's the pyramid, it will exhaust itself. It will drain itself. It will sit around and be like, damn, I hate this shit. People say, I hate life all day. People say, I wish I wasn't ever born. And I can tell you that these people have never delved deep into their Akashic records to figure out who in the fuck they are. You are going to feel suicidal if you think that you're only the tip of the pyramid and you're not the entire pyramid. Thus, your past lives. If your past lives are not in recollect memory, then your attention is on bullshit. There's no way you're actively attending to something in a true fashion because you don't even realize that you are a pyramid. You don't even realize that you're a soul traveling through many different lives. You think that the shit that you're going through right now is the most important shit. Thus, your attention is to it. But your attention is not really shit if you really think about it. If it's not brought about the fact of who you are. And if nobody told you who you are at a spiritual level, how in the fuck is you supposed to know? Because when you walk into the spiritual community, the first thing you're going to see is skim. The next thing you're going to see is scam. And then after that, you see a phlegm. And then after that, you see a phlegm. You're like, oh shit, this spiritual community is lit. Let me find the shit that really vibrate with my with my energy. See, I wasn't vibing with that person because that person wasn't vibing with me. All of this shit is human bullshit. Because if we were real to real, we would be trying to bring about a realization of who the fuck we are first. But it's real easy when you deal with people and they really paying attention to you. They, what I said is that they paying attention to you. It's people who watching this video looking at me hearing me, but not understanding the message for which that I'm laying out because this message is not for me specifically. It is for whoever can break down or decode the words for which that I'm saying. If you can visualize the words that is coming out of my mouth is not about me. It is about your visualization and self realization of who you are as a soul. You do not come down here to fuck on niggas. You do not come down here to drive a Maserati because the niggas leave, the Maserati goes once you stop paying the payments, the house goes once you stop paying the payments. That is not nothing for which you can go into the afterlife like Lord Jesus. I bought a house. I bought a car. I did get me some pussy when I was down this bitch that got to count for something, Lord. And it's like, you, you, you honestly never came down here and did what you were supposed to do. See who you are. Build about your awareness. Your awareness leads to your intention, attention and intention for that matter. But ultimately seeing yourself as a holistic being, seeing yourself as living multiple lives. If you don't understand that about yourself, then how the fuck will you be directed in life? You got to understand your life is a matter of intrinsic motivation for you to figure out who the fuck you are. If you were to sit and figure that part out, everything would make sense. The issue with people for which I talk to and then stop talking to because y'all don't give really a fuck about figuring out who you are. You want to figure out how to get over the problem that you're facing with in this life right now in this body. And the reason that you got yourself into this predicament is because you never realized or saw or gave a fuck or valued who you are. That's the craziest irony of all time. If you really think about it, 
who you are is not something that you pay attention to, yet you suffer, thus you don't want to suffer, but you still refuse to figure out who the fuck you are, and not saying, well, I got muscles, I work out, my ass is fat, I look good, I'm cute, that's not even who you are, we're talking about beyond that, when I was starting out in the conscious community, we did not give a fuck about looks, Looks is nothing to do with consciousness. Money has nothing to do with consciousness. Niggas lying to you to hustle up on their classes ever so often is not consciousness. Getting together with people is not consciousness. These are things that you could do as a human fucking being. You could go to a fucking Star Wars convention and find more quality people than dealing with conscious people. Conscious people by nature are parasitic. By nature, they're parasitic. So when things happen, when you're around conscious people, bad things happen. I'm not fucking surprised. What have they shown you to make you feel like they was good people besides saying hotep every once in a while? Conscious people know that they can look a certain way, say certain things, and you will never, ever check them on their parasitic tendencies. Not me, though. I'm going to call you on that shit. And I'm not, I don't necessarily have to call you, but I can understand parasitic energy versus people who want to give to you. Let's, let's backtrack. Let's look at this shit. If it was about providing value, if it was about serving a collective, why don't motherfuckers stay present in their YouTube channels, especially if they hit a certain precipice, especially if they hit a certain mode of notoriety, they take that energy take your money and enjoy themselves with that shit they not here day in and day out in the field with you i don't gotta do this to be broke i don't gotta sit here and talk to y'all and be like hey make sure you give me some money because if it ain't no money involved i don't got shit to say to you that's not consciousness we can talk about marketing we can talk about business because i do that or we can talk about consciousness and serving a collective because i do that too Okay, and it's not about something that you've done. I heard a conscious nigga say, man, why you why you asking me old ass questions? I talked about that shit two years ago. As if to say that the shit that you did two years ago is going to wipe my ass today. If you need to talk about basic forms of meditation today, I don't care. 20 years ago, I'm a 20 years from now. I'm going to tell you, all right, take four breaths in. Hold for two seconds. Excel for four seconds. You never to advance. See, what happens is y'all fuck with these conscious niggas. You, you boost up their fucking bank accounts. You overload their fucking bank accounts. And then they throw you the deuces like Chris Brown and Tiger and Kevin McCall. And now you sit around and wondering what the fuck is happening. See, this consciousness is ever evolving to get to a point of truth. The one who said that they knew the truth lied, Decepticon Joe ass. See, the problem is pay 2000 for my course and then you will have all your answers solved. Don't work like that. You thought because I paid more money for this class, this would equate to something. And the conscious con, the con, the con knew that about your psychology and used it against you. Use your own arrogance and intelligence against you because you feel like you smart and your attention. See, attention is conscious, intelligence, mental processing and things like that. Right. And that's the whole thing for shit for people. But the difference is you can be the dumbest person in the world. Start building your awareness about who you are as a soul being and totally transcend a smart person. You'll see a smart person waking up to go to work every day and you know you dumber than him or her. You know you stupid as a box of rocks, but here you come PayPal, Cash App, Shopify. Bing, 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 bing. You selling shit. You making money. But you dumb, you know you stupid. You know you dumb. And it's okay that you dumb because it's not about being smart. It's not about building up your attention. Your attention is your eye. Your brain is your pyramid. You gotta build up your pyramid. You don't build up your you don't build up your eye.
because your eye is only going to operate in the present moment. Your attention is only going to operate in the present moment. You can only be but so smart to work for a motherfucker. They don't teach you in college to be entrepreneurs and business execs and, and CEOs and founders of companies. They teach you how to work for people because they know that you so smart that you dumb. You so ahead of the game that you be getting lapped behind. It's it's some girls fixing fix doing quick weaves and things of that nature, shitting on your nine to five right as we speak, selling bundo after bundo after bundo after bundo. You might look at her at the mall and be like, "Oh, you's a dummy." You know, she walking around with her long bundle and her, her leggings and shit. And you think you better than her because you got on your little office suit. Got you a little fucking wrap. You pay $85 for it to get done. And don't let it be humid out. Now you got to get your hair done again. Somehow we better than people based upon our decisions that we make. But any decision that we make is a form of idiocracy until we deal with our awareness, which leads to our true attention, our true intention. You could be doing the wrong thing, but doing it righteously. You, you could be doing the wrong thing completely with your life but doing it in the most righteous way because you are disconnected from your awareness. This is how people die. This is how people get sick. This is how people be unhappy because they're doing the wrong thing righteously. They think it's right for them to send their kids to a school to get their kids poisoned because they was poisoned in the mind. Everything that you do, it gotta be the right thing. And then you don't want to do the awareness work because it's going to make you make drastic changes in reference to you making mistakes. But if you can't conceptualize the fact that you could possibly make mistakes based upon your ignorance to who the fuck you are, then you're not really ready for this shit. Because if you imagining everything you're doing is right and you don't want to make no changes, and the only problem is that you're not listening to the right spiritual person. You got to find the right spiritual person that's going to elevate you outside of you doing the work that you need to realize your fucking self. To realize what you are going to be giving to the collective and the tribe because you are a bodhisattva. You are ascended master. You are here to help and lead and guide and teach these kids out here. But you can't get over your personal fucking life to bring about a level of self-realization. So I send this message out to y'all. Are y'all aware of who you are before you aware of what you paying attention to? Because whatever you pay attention to is going to naturally grow. Pay attention to yourself so you can naturally go, grow. Listen to yourself at a deep, intimate level through meditation. And we got some, some interesting things coming down the pike. I hope y'all take a gander at it. Pay attention to, the, my, to my Instagram feed. Throughout the day, I got some exciting news to share. But with all of that being said, y'all have a great day. Be aware of your soul. Figure out who you are. Stop paying attention to fuck shit. Peace.